Hi, you guys. It's Yaz. And today I want to talk about what do narcissists hate? Oh, my God. They hate so many things. Okay. <laughs> but I'm going to talk about a few things that a narcissist hates. All right. A narcissist hates when they don't have control over you. Okay. Everything with a narcissist is control and power. They want to know that they affect your emotions. They want to be able to upset you. And this is exactly what a covert narcissist wants. And this is why a covert narcissist creates reactive abuse where you sit there and you get all upset, okay? They want to know that they have control over your emotions, okay? I'll tell you what else a narcissist hates. They hate your independence. They hate if you're making your own money and you're doing well for yourself. They hate your success. Why? Because a narcissist has a fragile ego and by you doing well, they hate it. The only time a narcissist will like when you're doing well is if they're benefiting from it, okay? In other words, they're, they're sponging off your, your success and living off you or something like that. A narcissist also is going to hate when you dismiss them. When you mirror that narcissist and you give them a taste of their own medicine, they can't handle it. A narcissist can dish it out, but they can't take it. So when a narcissist is sarcastic towards you or they make a joke or something and you give it back to that narcissist, you come back at them with another sarcastic joke directed at them, they're going to go crazy, all right? They're going to they're gonna make you pay for that remark. And then if you call them out and you say something like, well, you made this remark, they'll say, well, you took it wrong and everything like that. And then that's where they call you sensitive, okay? Or, you know, you're, you're overly, overly, you know, insecure and it's your insecurity. You can't take a joke or something like that. No, it's never okay for somebody to put you down in a sarcastic kind of manner, all right? It's like I told people, you know, on the social media, I said, when somebody comes out and they tell you, well, you know, I could be sarcastic at times and everything like that, what they're pretty much telling you is that I could be an asshole and I'm going to put you down now and then. That is a red flag, you guys. You got to watch out for somebody like that, that does something like that, that tries to put you down in a way like that. So, you know, the best thing you can do when you're dealing with a narcissist is, you know, not need the narcissist. What does a narcissist hate? They hate the fact that you don't need them. They hate the fact that you don't care. You show indifference to that narcissist. You don't want to get angry at the narcissist and start telling them off and everything like that. Although they, a narcissist could drive you crazy and you just want to let them have it. When you do that, yeah, it feels good, but you're still feeding that narcissist. They know they get a certain kind of satisfaction out of knowing they trigger you. It's like sometimes I get these nasty trolls on the post that make nasty comments and stuff like this. Like, oh, here we go, you know, uh, you know, narcissist abuse awareness, blah, blah, blah. And like, I could just come back at them and, and just destroy them, right? But I don't because that would be feeding the narcissist. Instead, I just block and delete because I, number one, I don't need to disturb my peace and go back and forth with the narcissist. And this is what you got to understand. A narcissist wants to fight. They want to go back and forth with you. Unless you're dealing with a covert narcissist, then they're just going to, you know, they're going to abandon the fight and they're going to fight you indirectly, passive aggressively. Okay. <laughs> But if you're just dealing with a regular overt kind of narcissist that wants to fight because they want to put you down and everything like that, you, by disengaging, you're letting them know that, you know what, you're not shit. I don't need to go back and forth with you. Anything you say doesn't mean anything. So I, I just step back from it. You, you have absolutely no importance over me. And this is why I'm not going to go back and forth with you. So a narcissist is going to hate that. They're going to hate that. What else does a narcissist hate? They hate when you try to hold them accountable, okay? And what a lot of them will do, especially covert narcissists, they're going to say, let's just sweep it under the rug. Let's move on from here. Why do you got to keep bringing up the past? You're bringing up that past because unless you resolve that past, it's going to happen again, all right? 
but they want to sweep it under the rug. They don't want to face the truth, okay? Narcissists know what the truth is, but what they do is they block out the truth in their mind so that they don't have to face it. They have tunnel vision. They will only look at what they want to look at when they're dealing with you and you have conflict. A narcissist won't want to acknowledge your point of view. This is why it doesn't pay to argue with a narcissist. They will never, ever see it from your point of view, okay? They're just, they're, they're like Stonewall Jackson. They will not sway. They will not say, oh, I, I get it. This is why you have to fly the flag and walk away from these people because they're not open-minded. They can't handle it because they can't face shame, all right? So a narcissist is going to hate it when you hold them accountable, okay? What is a narcissist like? They like somebody who shuts their fucking mouth. That's who a narcissist likes. Somebody who lets them do whatever they want to do. Somebody who lets them have the control and everything like that. That's what a narcissist likes. But understand this. They may like it, but they're not going to respect you. And they're going to walk all over you. And a lot of people will say, well, you know, I'm going to try to make it work with the narcissist. Maybe if I just do what they want and everything, we can make this work. You're going to have a little bit of peace but guess what? That narcissist is still going to find something that they're going to pick on with you, okay? They're going to say, oh, you didn't shut the refrigerator door right. Oh, you left a spoon in the sink. Oh, you didn't wipe the table right. They're still going to nitpick, okay? Because a narcissist is a nitpicker. So even though you could give that narcissist, <clears throat> excuse me, you guys, your best they will still find something fucking wrong with what you do. So you can't win with a narcissist. Understand that. You cannot make a narcissist completely happy because they're not happy and they always got to say something in order to make themselves feel better, okay? After they rip you up and tell you you did this wrong, you did that wrong, it's your fault and everything like that, it makes them feel better. They're the authority. They know better. They're a better person. They need to feel like they're important. Okay? Understand this. So you will not win with these kind of people. Okay? <laughs> so, you know, when you stand up to a narcissist, they're going to hate that. They are going to hate that. They're going to fight you. There's two ways that a narcissist could fight you when you stand up to them and you hold them accountable. They're either going to walk out and stonewall you and, and give you the silent treatment or they're going to get up in your face and try to intimidate you with a narcissistic rage to try to make you afraid, afraid to open your mouth. This is how they train you to shut you up, okay? They're going to try to intimidate you by getting in your face and, and scaring you, okay? And if you're dealing with a malignant narcissist, you have to shut your mouth, all right? You have to appease that malignant narcissist till you can get the fuck out of there, all right? Because otherwise, you could be putting yourself in danger. So, you know, just keep the situation calm and everything like that and leave in silence and have a plan to get away from somebody who could be dangerous like that. But if you're just dealing with a narcissist with no threat of any kind of bodily harm or anything like that, you know what I mean? You have to, you know... You can't be intimidated to be afraid to open your mouth, okay? Narcissists want to instill fear in you. Stop being afraid. Stop being afraid to ask them why they didn't return your call last night when they were supposed to. Stop being afraid to ask them where they were when they ghosted you, if you were married to them or something like that, all right? Stop being afraid, okay? Because what happens is, the more that you accept, the more you shut your mouth, the more that narcissist expects more, okay? So that when any little thing that you have to say to them, they're going to pounce on you, okay? So this is why in the very beginning of dealing with a narcissist, you got to set those boundaries in place, okay? What you will and will not accept. And when you let those boundaries go, guess what, okay? That narcissist knows that you're weak. They know they can get over on you. And, you know, 
if you don't have consequences to your boundaries, they're going to keep doing what they're doing. They're going to keep, you know, walking all over you and not have to feel like they got to call you back or something like that. So understand, all right, narcissists hate when you challenge them, okay? But who cares? Who really fucking cares, all right? The bottom line is if they're doing something that they shouldn't be doing, you you let them know, okay? You let them know. You let them know that you're not a sap, okay? And this is, you know, your way of you know, standing up for yourself and respecting yourself. So these are the things that narcissists hate. The other thing that, you know, narcissists hate is when you're not codependent on them, all right? You're not looking to the narcissist for validation. In other words, let's say you get dressed and you're going out somewhere and everything like that. You don't need to ask the narcissist, how do I look, okay? Because if you're dealing with one of these surly narcissists that always got to give you a jab, they're going to say something to you like, oh, you know, you look okay. No, no, you look good. You're you're all right or something like that. And they're going to validate you but not validate you. They're going to plant that seed of doubt in your mind that, you know what, you're okay but you're nothing great or something like that. This is how they do it. It's like a backhanded compliment. So what a narcissist hates is if you don't need to, their validation. You look good and you know you look good and you're going out. Let's go. I know I look good, okay? This is what they hate. They want you to always be asking them, so what do you think? What Do you, do you like this? Do you not like this? You're always asking them their opinion on something, okay? They want you to be codependent on them, all right? A narcissist hates when you have a support system, when you have friends and family that are in your ear talking to you and supporting you. They hate that. That's why they're going to tell you, stop going to your friends and family and telling them about our relationship. They don't want these people to tell you that the narcissist is being manipulative and lying and being shady. They don't want people to wake you up. So the narcissist is going to hate when you have a strong support system of family and friends, okay? Narcissists also hate when you start looking good. Like when you start going to the gym, they're going to accuse you of having somebody at the gym that you're sleeping with. They're so insecure, you guys. Or you go meet a girlfriend for dinner. They're going to say you went to go meet some guy for dinner, why? Because this is what they're doing, all right? They figure nobody could be, you know, nobody could be loyal. You got to be doing something shady, right? But they're jealous. And they're jealous of you if you take care of yourself. They're jealous of your self-care. And they're going to try to stop that. So a lot of times you may be self-conscious. Let's say you're a little bit overweight and you're self-conscious and you want to do something and, and get yourself fit or something like that. The narcissist is going to tell you, no, you look good. You don't need to lose weight. You don't need to lose weight. They don't want you to lose weight. They don't want you to look good because they're insecure, okay? They're afraid. So they're not going to want you to have that self-care and take care of yourself or something like that. And if you do start doing it, they're going to start making their wise remarks, all right? They're going to start making their wise remarks because they don't want you to think that you're better than them, all right? They don't want you to have that power and control. A narcissist wants to hold you down. They don't want to build you up. And they know by holding you down, you're going to be codependent on them. And another thing a narcissist does, you guys, is a narcissist is going to try to break you by telling you, nobody wants you. Who's going to want you or something like that? Nobody's going to want to deal with you or your situation Or, you know, they'll make a comment about your age. Nobody wants you or something like that. They're trying to bring you down, okay? They're trying to rip your self-esteem, okay? So what a narcissist hates is they hate when you you have, you know, you have self-esteem 
and you believe in yourself and you have self-worth and you don't doubt yourself, okay? So stop doubting yourself with the narcissist. You got to hold strong with these people and know who you, who the fuck you are so that this person doesn't rip you down, okay? It's like I was dealing with somebody like this in in like in my family and this guy he kept trying to put me down, put me down, put me down. And he was like, oh, you think you're something, this and that. And I stood up to him and I was like, you know what? Yeah, that's right. I validate myself. That's exactly right. I, I don't need you to validate me. I validate myself. And you should have seen his face. It was taken back because he was like, he knew, he knew he couldn't play with me. Okay. Because I was somebody who was always you know, shot down, criticized, judged, everything. I hit rock bottom and I came back from it. And how did I come back from it? By my spirituality, okay? God is what kept me strong. God is what grounded me, okay? Understand that. I didn't need anybody else to validate me. I had my own faith, my own belief, and that's what kept me grounded. And I said, no narcissistic demon is going to ever cut me up again, all right? Because I'm not going to tolerate it. I am not going to have you, I'm not even going to, you know, acknowledge you. You're not even worth being acknowledged. You're fucking nothing, all right? I'm going to step back from it. I'm going to walk away from it and I'm not going to be around it, all right? And this is what I'm telling you. When you're like that and you have that kind of self-confidence, there ain't, Anything a fucking narcissist can do to you, all right? Because now they know you're not, you're not going to start doubting yourself. And this is what a narcissist hates. They hate the fact that they can't plant, you know, self-doubt and have you have that low self-esteem. This is exactly what they hate, okay, you guys? So I hope that helps you. If it did, please hit the subscribe button and please share the podcast. Have a great day. If you guys are having a problem in your dating or relationship or you're dealing with somebody maybe that's narcissistic, you don't know if they're a narcissist or you're just having problems, you're in a toxic relationship and you need some clarity on it, go to the link in the podcast description for my website where I offer email and phone coaching. If you have a quick question, just a quick question and you want to get a video sent back to you answering your question, there's also a link there for Vizio, where I will send you a personalized video answering your question. Hi, you guys, it's Yaz, and I want to tell you about my two books on Amazon. The first book is Regain Your Power. It's all about power and relationship. Who has the power in the relationship? And it goes into all of that, okay? The other book is Signs He's Not Into You, He's Wasting Your Time, okay? Check it out. It gives you a lot of good clues as to whether you're with somebody who's a real one or somebody who's just going to waste your time. You could read them both with Kindle's free trial membership. So check it out. Link is in the podcast description. Hi, you guys. I just want to let you know that The Game Exposed now has their merchandise available. Check out the link in the bio and you could go check it out. There's cool hoodies, cool sweatpants, cool hats. So go to the bio for the link. And also, don't forget to follow me on Facebook at the game exp123 and also on Instagram the game exp123 okay and have a great day mm-hmm.